it just like that. Man, it's going to get any easier. And I've seen this episode before, but it don't get <laughs> no easier at all. Yo, it doesn't. And the thing is that that's actually the, the, this is that part of the episode is what actually was a pen. Is what actually kept me watching. Cattle. That is rough, bro. Yo, that is tough. Yo, this dude did not say breakfast of champions. <laughs> Goodness gracious, dude. Yo. Pause that. Dude. <sighs> Pause that. Mm. Focusing on all of us. Oh man, uh, Eris, thank you for showing up, bro. Um, you be easy, bro. Till next time. I think yeah, we're gonna look at another episode or something. I don't know. I don't want to tie tie up either. Um, I'm straight. I'm straight. But, I'm good. I mean, but what was your take on the episode, though? I mean, we've oh, seen it before, oh. but yeah, we have seen it before. So for me, it was, uh, of course, I think the hardest part, I think the part for me that's always uh, got me was that final scene right there. Because, you know, because up until that point, you're like, okay, this is just a punk kid. He talk a lot of mess. He ain't no different than the the blind hair Naruto, old Naruto looking dude, (laughs) just talking a lot of mess until... Which I found interesting until they both came to that realization, like, yo, this thing is real. And yeah, what I what as in that moment I knew, I said, Okay, well the Naruto looking dude, he's gonna die at some point because yeah. because he talked a lot of stuff, but he just turned tail and ran. He talked all that big talk and he was like, Well, I'm gonna just go save these kids and roll. And mm-hmm. you know, the main character, he knew what was going on. He just never seen it out um, as vicious as his father said. He yeah. see he saw it this time, and he still went forward with what he was going to do. So I'm like, yo, he's a he's yeah. an OG. He's an OG. Yeah. He, he definitely had that uh, that deco mentality where it's kind of like his legs were moving without him mm-hmm. thinking about it. Like he right. he knew instinctively, like yo, my parents are there. Like I I gotta get back home. Right, um, right. It's not that he was stupid. It was like he 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 wanted to preserve life, even at his own cost of detriment. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's weird though because like the the soldier, I kind of like the first time I watched, it, I felt the same way like you did. But second time watching it, like today, I was kind of like he weighed his options. He looked and he was like, "This dude's gonna kill me." And mm-hmm. he's probably gonna kill these kids too. And it's like, I need to get them out of here. And it's it's hard. That's a hard. That's a hard reality. It's kind of like yeah. what uh the wolf, what the wolf did for Arya. Oh yeah, yeah, her yeah. Out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he could have went in with her and got killed, but he's like, nah, we got a dip set. But yeah, yeah. As far yeah. as the episode is concerned, my biggest thing is that bro, like. The animation, the visuals for this <laughs> look yeah. better than some of the stuff that are right out right now. Yeah. And that, to me, that's what blows me. Yep. And and Attack on Titan. What was the release date for the for the for that for Attack the on Titan? First, first season. Let me look that yeah. up. Um, yeah. I would I would look it up, but then my screen is gonna go black on the tablet because <laughs> the camera is gonna turn off. Attack it's on Titan, 2013, bro. Right, yeah. So that's <laughs> that's five. That's five. But here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing, though. Here's the funny thing. If you see the look, Mobile Fighter G Gundam was 1994. If you see the Blu-ray quality on this thing, though, you would swear up and down it was released in the last year or two. Like the way they upscale stuff is crazy. But but no. So this, so the thing about this though. When I saw this, the quality, that was one of the things that intrigued me about it. I was like, yo, this looks beautiful. Yeah. And yet yeah, it's so dark. And like looking at mm-hmm. today, I was kind of like, I don't know what I expected, but I, I didn't expect it to look this crispy. And like for a seven year old anime, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it's, it's no, just I the, get it. But. 
No, man, no. I, I, I get it for it. I mean, here's the thing, though. When you do something, when you do something epic, no matter what it is, and it's been deemed so, it's not going to matter. Look, I can I can sit down and watch Ninja Scroll any day of the week. And that's like yeah. it's old. You know, yeah. I can watch it any day of the week. You know, um. You know, I, I definitely can do that. So once you once you do something that's really, really good, like high quality, you know, high quality, like I promise you, I promise you, man, like it, it it's it's one of those things where Attack on Titan is up there with me with like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, not even regular Full Metal Alchemist, like Full Metal Alchemist brotherhood because they really get kind of dark a bit in brotherhood you know and yeah you really can um i can really watch that like that was probably the very first anime where as soon as i saw like maybe the first two or three episodes i bought uh-huh. the blue i bought the blu-rays like right away you know and yeah. i didn't even feel that way about full metal alchemist and i love full metal alchemist but brotherhood Dude, like I don't even, I don't even count Full Metal Alchemist anymore. If it's not Brotherhood, we're not talking. <laughs> you know, you know, I take that back. We talking, but you know, we not talking. You know, but I can yeah. watch that all day. And, and here's the funny thing: there, there, there are animes that that we've all watched that I'm that we can all say, yeah, it's up there. And I thought this was going to be one of them, but but Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Z is not one of them for me. They're long-standing keystones to anime, yeah, history. Definitely. But but if I if I don't see Dragon Ball Z again, I'll be all right. But I gotta watch at least I gotta watch some Attack on Titan. I gotta watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I can watch My Hero Academia. I can watch Naruto and uh, Shippuden. You know, Boruto, yeah. not so much, but those definitely, you know, so yeah. it's, you know, there's, because they, they took, they took chances. That's the one thing too. They take a lot of chances. It seems like with Attack on Titan, you know, yeah, to, to push that kind of, to push that kind of dark in the first episode. Like at first I was like, okay, this is shock value. But then as the season progressed, I was like, yeah. Yeah, this right yeah, I, I I completely agree, and I mean, well, two different things. Like when it came to like the budget, when I think about like something like Afro Samurai, and Samuel Jackson was like, you know, Resurrection was a five million dollar budget, and yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> you, yeah. You, but but yet, you know, when that first trailer came out for Afro Samurai Resurrection, I was like, yo, Riz is back. And this mm-hmm. looks amazing. I was like, I bought it. Like, straight up, yeah, like, this I bought it looks. I, I was like, you know, and, and I think that we talked about this when it came to um, Infamous Second Son. Like, there are certain mm-hmm. things that people craft in a way that just yeah. lasts. Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim oh, yeah. 4K is the best looking 4K movie that you can get. Oh, yeah. But yet you got movies like, you know, like Endgame and like Avatar and whatnot. But like the way that they refined these kind of like specific uh, stories and creations, mm-hmm. they, they they put everything into it. And I think that this was one of those animes that definitely did the same. And right. the second point, like when it came to um, the story with this one, I I was thrown off because I was like, Bro, I am not. I, I once, so we haven't got to that point, but there's a moment in about two or three episodes that I was like, I'm done with this. I had a whole right. glimpse. I was like, no, I'm done. Like you, you, right. you, you have me invested. You got me, you know, and you just cut my legs out. Like no pun intended. So yeah, yeah. It, well, it, it well, I remember a certain video game that t- almost took us there too. Oh man, look! But I think because we paid the money for the game, we had to basically see how it panned out. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. look, had I had I not gotten 
if had I not paid for the game and someone had offered it to me or whatever for free, yeah, I'd have stopped probably about right there. I'm like, look, you can take it back. Well, don't you? You can take it back. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I, I can't believe I sat through two hours to get to that point. Yeah. No, nah, but yeah. yeah. But, but that also tells you story is everything. I mean, it, it takes, yeah. I mean, there are other things like even we saw, um, we saw, you know, War, we saw War for Cybertron, the trilogy. They've done video games for War for Cybertron. They've done other shows of, of War for Cybertron. But this War for Cybertron trilogy, um, this first chapter, Siege, like the storyline, you know, that gives you more uh, perspective, you know, to say, oh, yeah. the, 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 the Autobots and the Decepticons are really like, the Democrats and the Republicans, except one holds more power and the other one's fighting a revolution, you know, for yeah. equality. So it's like, it's, it, it gives you a perspective where both, and that's a situation where both parties, and I know you said this before, um, Sam, so I'm kind of quoting you where it's like, both parties feel they're the hero, you yeah. know, they're doing the, they're doing the right thing, you know? Yeah. So, so it's, um, so it's very interesting. The storyline is, is actually is uh, is usually every. It's at least it's a great foundation. Of course, there's more things that factor in quality graphics, quality production work, quality editing, quality directing. You know, voice actors, that kind of thing, um, and the whole yeah. process to make a good piece of work. But. Um, um, but the foundation for me is always a story. Like if I yeah. can read a story and then be just as excited or just as, or enjoy it just as much on the screen, then you've got gold. You got, for me. Yeah. You got gold yeah. for me, you know, like, yeah. like I can, so like prime example, I can read a damn, brown, a damn brown book all day just because of the research and stuff he's done. And that's the, you know, like Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, um, The Lost Symbol, which he never produced into a movie, um, Dante's Inferno, or Inferno, really. Um, uh, I'm missing one. Um, but those I, with him, oh, Origin, um, I can read those all day. But then to see him on a screen, I've enjoyed them with Tom Hanks as Robert Langdon. Because the story is so good, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think even with this one, like, the first episode already off the gate lets you know. I mean, you get to see the heroes. You get to see the people that are out there as soldiers fighting mm -hmm. for their life, looking as though they're making a difference. But then they, one of the hardest parts about the very first episode for me was watching the soldiers come back just all battered and bruised. And having mm -hmm. this mother come and be like, yo, where's my son? Like, you got anything of him. And all they had was a freaking hand. And the soldier was like, bro, I don't even know why we even out here anymore. And yeah. like that, that it shows you there's a hierarchy issue where it's like some people's perspective is like, go out there and make a difference. But then it's like, what is our options here? And I think that that's where it's going to be a very interesting story moving forward because there has to be a way for these people to be able to survive. Um, right. Because otherwise there's no story, you know? Right, especially in a situation where you've already established a kind of a city fortress yeah. to prevent these uh, titans from getting in. But mm -hmm. they, much like war, much like evolution, they've adapted and evolved. And now they're mm -hmm. able to penetrate your defenses so when you have that kind of situation and then on top of that it's one thing i mean we've seen the effects of war regardless you know yeah. and that's when we're battling each other now you know we could have a situation where in this particular um world or even the real world where you know god you know god forbid a soldier gets you know completely obliterated and all that's left is a yeah. piece of uh is a, is a piece of a is 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 a is a limb 
but you're dealing with the concept of all that was left of a limb as if it was a piece of of meat that didn't make it <laughs> you know that got yeah. you know that 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 didn't make it through the teeth or whatever that's a con that's a hard thing to that's a hard thing to um for lack of better words it's a hard thing to swallow like it's a hard yeah. concept to, to really digest man it's crazy you know and yeah. that and, and you have to you know and the thing is this is and it makes you wonder it makes you wonder what you know other species or beings fish you know beasts you know cows and all that are thinking of when they deal with us you know we you know we we slaughter we slaughter animals or whatever for food consumption on a regular basis now yep. what happens when we are not the top of the food chain food chain yeah you know that's that's where what we're dealing with you know yep but uh we're gonna well i'm gonna say the first episode i'll give it a 10. i don't have any reason to not give it a 10. uh we're oh, gonna yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go to the that's next episode before it gets a little too late um yeah. i got i got one more episode in me all right we're gonna cut it out right here all right peace you guys we out mm -hmm.